remembers that like um TV show it was like a contest, supermarket sweep. That's what I feel like. Alright, and out of breath. What is up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Sid. I am sitting here in my kitchen procrastinating. I need to go to the grocery store. I feel a little bit under the weather. Um I think um um, I just need to go to the grocery store, so I will probably bring you guys along with me um, just to chat and see um, what I get. I'm just going to get a couple frozen items. Like my, ch my son has been really asking for some chicken wings, and so I'm going to go get that, and then I'm going to get some stuff for this yuckiness that's going on in my nose. So I got me some onion water already that i made the other day i just need some orange juice i cannot take it straight so i need to get me some orange juice and some more honey and i'll probably get like a fresh orange to heat up in the microwave to take some of that fresh vitamin c so y'all come along as i go to this grocery store as you guys can see i'm at the grocery store i had to pick up a couple things um Mainly meats and things. <gasps> Orange juice. I think I did I pass the juice already. Now I have to go back. But anyway, the main thing are meats. Yummy, yummy meats. Oh my gosh. Chicken patties are on sale. <laughs> Y'all. I love me some good chicken patties. It's probably not that great for me, but I don't know if I want frozen wings or get more if you get the frozen ones. I'm gonna see how many. The wing dingies, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if it's better to get like the frozen wing dings or the actual, oh my gosh. Wait a minute. That's That's it. I hope so. These burgers, because Joe's been talking about burgers lately. But I'm gonna go down here and see, check on the fresh wings and see how much that costs because y'all I'm in a hurry too. Like these busy mornings before I pick up Joe, ain't no joke. Oh wait, maybe if I get two of the unfrozen ones. Oh, that's like 13 bucks. Never mind. Never mind. We gonna do that. We gonna put them. For me, I don't like, I really don't like um, getting frozen meat. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just easier to cook because I usually cook it right away anyway. So I just need to see, go ahead. I just need to keep up and see what the heck I'm trying to make. And I need some honey. Did I say I was gonna get orange juice or oranges? I think I said both. Y'all, bear with me. This is tricky. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, to focus. So I'm gonna get back with y'all in just a second. <laughs> Who remembers that like um, TV show? It was like a contest, supermarket sweep. That's what I feel like. I am out of breath. But one thing about my son is he doesn't like going to the grocery store. So I try to do it before I pick him up from school or um, in my free time when he's not with me. That's the best time to do it. Excuse me. Because other than that, he will be having a fit all through the store or throwing stuff into the basket that I don't eat. So we almost done. Yeah, I'm back. I'm in the car. I have about 15 minutes to spare before Josiah gets let out of um, his after school program. And can I be real honest with y'all? I um, went to the grocery store with a set list, right? And um, I was like, let me put these things in the basket. I know this is the amount that I have 
this is the amount that I have available to spend on groceries. Literally, this is just this is it. And ooh. and so um I ended up picking up a few things that weren't on the list. Like we needed some um Josiah and I needed some lotion. And it was one other thing. Cause I did put um whatever the case, it was one other thing, and I think I picked up like two two things that weren't on the list. And so when I got to the register, I'm thinking I had this number in mind that how much the groceries were going to be. And I'm like, OK, um, I, ha I should have, you know, just enough. But as I was watching. As I was watching the. Um, the numbers climb on the thing, I started I had like a little panic because this is literally all I had. And. These last couple months that I have not been working, I've always managed to have just enough to pay for, you know, our groceries and stuff. Like, we've never gone without, thank the Lord Jesus. But I would be lying if I did not say that it doesn't make me feel anxious. Like, in that moment, like, I get, like, this angst, like, this anxious feeling. And, and then I thank God afterwards for covering and allowing me to have oh lord jesus just what i need to supply my needs and my son's needs and who oh, jesus and so earlier right i was listening to um um darius daniels i mention him a lot in my um videos but I was watching his sermon from Sunday and he was talking about the same thing. Every, it seems like, I'm not going to say everyone. It just seems like when you're in alignment, the things that you listen to, for the most part, for the most part, I want to speak in context. For the most part, um, most of what you listen to or when everyone is in alignment, I got to get comfortable because that was uncomfortable. Hold on, y'all. Most of everyone that you listen to, listen to is in alignment with what God is saying as well. But anyway, he was just saying, I know this is not a leap year. This is not a technical leap year. But believe God that this is your leap year. Like this is going to be, you're going to make quantum leaps. Like you have to, everything that you speak this year has to be spoken by faith. Everything that you be, are believing for is already believed to happen by faith. And faith is not always easy. It's not a, um, you wake up with this, you know, um, beautiful belief system. No, you have to, that's why it says, be you transforming the renewing of your mind. It's a daily thing. It's a daily, um, confession. It's a daily belief. It's sometimes it's hour by hour. Like I said it before. And today was just one of those days where, I'm literally like my stomach hurts. <laughs> my stomach. My stomach hurts because faith is not pretty. It's not pretty. Like believe in God to take care of your needs. It's it's my God. And I'm so thankful for God. Like don't get don't get what I'm saying twisted. I am so grateful for God supplying my needs. And me having more than enough because as long as my needs and my son's needs are taken care of, God is doing what he promised to supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. But not only that, huh, it just made me confess even more. It sends you, it'll send you the opposite way. Like sometimes you will want to begin to um, kind of like, down yourself or get down on yourself because of uh, because of you know your situation or your state or whatever your financial state whatever it may be right you'll you'll kind of take it the opposite way when God wants you to dig deeper continue to dig deeper and say by faith I'm declaring that all of my needs are met I'm by faith I'm declaring the money is coming from the north the south the east and the west not this year, like he said, this year, I'm not taking steps. I'm taking quantum leaps. I am leaping multiplication. Steps are addition, he was saying. Steps are addition. 
but this year I am multiplying. Watch God multiply. I am giving him what I have. And what I have right now is praise. What I have right now is gratitude. What I have right now is thankfulness for him. Once again, meeting my needs and having my needs taken care of. Um, because we will have times when we worry. Today, that moment for me was just a moment of panic. And I'm trying to like, woosa mm, and drink me some water. Because I am about to drink me some water. Um, and just continue to believe that. God's got it. God's got it. No matter what it looks like. I'm speaking from a personal, just not saying like, you know, just believe. Um, no, I'm coming from literally believe God's got it. Even when you don't, because you don't always have to have it. But trust and believe that the one who supplies all of our needs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And as I was reading. Oh, sorry, y'all. As I was listening to. Um, I think someone on TikTok was saying something. I can't remember exactly what they were um, sharing about. But whatever they said, in my mind, I just heard, and of course I wrote it down. Don't get caught in the wind. Get caught in the wind of God. Oh my God, it's a little hound dog. Oh my gosh. It literally has like floppy ears. Okay, anyway, <laughs> don't get caught in the wind. Get caught up in the wind of God. Be flowing with God. Be ready to move when he says move. Be caught in the wind of God. Because when he says move, you have to be, you have to have ears to hear. <laughs> like this floppy hound dog that's sniffing out. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know what I just, um, wow, wow. Anyway ears to hear and eyes to see the movement and when God is moving and how God is moving. moving. So don't get caught up in when he'll do it. Get caught in the wind, the fresh wind of God, the movement, the, the newness, the, the things that he has in store, the prepared place. Because there, there, is a, there is coming a time for me. I'm declaring this over myself. There is, a coming, there is coming a time for me when I will no longer lack. I will no longer need. I will no longer have to feel the way that I was feeling at the register. I will no longer have to deal with doubting or deal with being anxious for the things that um, I've been anxious about. There will come a time where I will be self-sufficient in the Lord, needing nothing. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. I shall not lack. And I've already declared that this is my Psalms 23 year. The Lord is my shepherd. He is my shepherd. He leads me. I shall not want. So y'all, hallelujah, praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm about to go pick up my son. And we're going to head home. He's probably going to help me make some chicken wings. Or probably not even help me for real. But I got his chicken wings because that's what he asked me for. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, just remember, keep the faith. No matter what it looks like, keep believing that God's got it. Keep trusting that God's got it. Because he does... He does. He does. And this is just a reminder to myself that when you think you don't have it, God always makes sure that you have enough. And this in the next season that I'm walking into, I will have more than enough. My cup runneth over. My cup runneth over. Amen. I will catch y'all next week. Hello there. I was so late because the guy was trying to find.